Hello everyone. In this video, we will go step by step on installing uh, Git for Windows. And uh, the first step that we need to do is we need to download Git, obviously, and then we have to say Git download. You can say Git download for Windows on Google, or you can even just go directly to the official page, with it, which is Git SCM. Now, on the first thing that shows up, it shows the office, official site and uh, we will download the git for windows and we will go with a 64 uh, bit setup as soon as that gets downloaded we will start the installation of course you would have to approve and now uh, i want to mention that uh, some of these options will not affect at all the, your usability as a, as a beginner user initially then as you learn more about that you will see you know you will uh, then customize to your own needs uh, depending on what you use so we will just say next this is where we want to install it is in our program files then uh, by default it already selects what we need to use which is git bash here and uh, we say next this is how the folder will be named in our start so we will say next you can say next for Vim editor as well, but you can also choose if you want any other editor to work with uh, Git. And uh, as far as the naming here, I want you to say let Git decide. We will learn later on how we can change these. Uh, in terms of the path environment, I want you to use the recommended one. In that case, if you decide later that you don't want to use Git Bash only, you can always use any other third party software. So we'll say next there. So by default here as well, we'll use the OpenSSH and same for the OpenSSL library. Uh, Similarly, this will not actually affect highly in terms of your, your usability. So that's why I, we can go ahead and use the default option as next. Here we can use Minty as a terminal. And in terms of the Git pool, so we will learn, we will talk about this later on. But for now, we can go with the default option and say next. And to have a, a, a more seamless or effortless uh, interaction in terms of using Git, I would advise you to uh, use this Git Credentials Manager. So we will say next there as well. Uh, same for f uh, file system caching. And in terms of these experimental changes, I don't want you to use any one of them. And uh, not just because they are experimental, but I, I don't find usability now, uh, at least for what you're focused on. So then we will go ahead and say install, and it will just take a moment to install. And as I mentioned earlier, again, for now, you might not know what the, some of these options offer you, but later on, as you get more used uh, to, 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 to working with Git and learn more about it, you might want these options differently and you will already have the chance to, to change most of them. Now that we, the installation has finished, we can launch Git and we can just check the version that we have installed. So we have installed version 238.1 and even in case you want to open it later on, of course, you can find it on your menus here. You see recently added as well. You can add it to your taskbar for uh, ease of access and so on. This is all in terms of the installation. If you're having any issues or anything, please feel free to reach out. Thank you.